Coming up on this episode of Dojo Life. The weapons will uh, vary from uh, katana, which is a Japanese sword, uh, spear, um, and something called a naganata, which is the equivalent of a halfa. Bristol, a city home to nearly half a million people. It was the starting point for early voyages of exploration to the New World. In 1497, John Cabot became the first European since the Vikings to land on mainland North America. And it's the history and culture of that period of time that a small group of dedicated students are studying at the Inyo Dojo. Except these traditions are that of the legendary samurai and ninja. Today, the focus is on the varied arsenal of those ancient warriors. Many of the techniques are, are with weapons. Um, the weapons will uh, vary from katana, which is a Japanese sword, uh, spear, um, and something called a naganata, which is the equivalent of a halbard. So, weapons is always a big deal. Um, I, when I started out, absolutely loved um, EI, like drawing the sword, um, doing anything with sword, uh, but then there's plenty of other weapons to, to deal with as well. Come down and try it and see, see what it's like, you know. It's, I think one session's probably not enough. It can kind of be a bit, bit too much if you come just once, but once you've come two or three times, you kind of, it's, it's much easier to grasp, to get an idea of within oneself, but also the martial art too, you know. Next time. But what you have to do in your own solo practice is you've got to go out and you've got to put in your leg work, you've got to put in the time. You know, Malcolm Gladwell said, you know, it's, uh, it takes 10,000 hours to get something, to become good at something. So the importance of actually doing solo training is, is second to none.